Now for this project I've got these downloads of these beautiful enamel compacts but I thought mm, those would make nice cards those would quite unusual cards so I'll just print them out you've got various sizes there's the front of the card project that we're going to be using you can see there it's got a natural kind of lid we're going to cut that out and there is the inside of the card that we're going to be using it and I don't know if you can see down here you can see you've got the hinge there but all will become apparent in a moment now what I've done here I've taken the image and I've just printed that onto a piece of card what I've also done I printed onto the back the gold effect that you get in the download as well so all you've got to do first of all I'm going to use scissors for this bit is just cut out the main section all you've got to do is take your scissors going all the way around and just keep your scissors close up to the edge of the design that you can see there and just you can always trim it up but just go slightly just slightly over so you're not leaving the white if you want you could leave a little white border all the way around there if you so wished so I'm just cutting this out first of all and I just love that sound when you've got the scissors crunching through the card don't you so this is going to make a round card but this card you could actually put on to another card if you wanted to uh, I'm just showing you the basics of how this can work so first of all I'm cutting out the shape of the card now normally if I'm using a scalpel I would um, cut out the centre first but because this is quite a large piece I think there's plenty to play with for cutting it out so just cut it out as carefully as you can all the way around the outside so that's the front there you go just pop that to one side so I don't get into a mess I've already done the back so let's have a look there's the front of it and you can see that's how that would work it's hinged here and you've also got the little clasp there I've also cut out the inside of the card as well so you can see that fits over the top and you can see where the clasp is here so you can marry it up in a little bit and so it all sticks together nicely so now what we're going to do I'm just going to take a scalpel you could use scissors but I think it's best to use a scalpel in this case and what you're going to do is where this actually starts here can you see this line you've got the line there and you've got this straight down there well we're going to cut this out so it opens up so just take your scalpel and just gently go around where the join is and then just keep your hand going in the right direction all the time and it's always easy just to pull down towards you don't go into funny positions it's easier to just lift up gently and pull the card around so it makes it easier for you to cut out and I'm just going to get to the clasp bit there and then take it off and then just gently with your scalpel go around that so you've got the shape of the little catch that's going to be an opening part of your card and then just carry on going around that natural circle that you've got there and just cut it gently it's better if you do this in one go applying the right amount of pressure and be careful because it is a sharp knife and the sharper your scalpel is the easier this is to do and just go up to where the hinge starts again so if I pick that up you can see you've got that flopping open like so now I'm going to take my metal ruler and where the hinge actually starts here I'm just going to put my metal ruler like that along it and I'm just going to take a, a an embossing tool or you could take a ballpoint pen which is not working anymore and just run that down there so it'll help it bend so you've got the front of the card there that's going to pen bend there perfectly and when you open it up you've got the inside and the outside of the card now on this edge here you can see where the bend is I'm going to continue that so you get a double bend see what I mean if I just put that back along there and then I'm going to continue that crease the whole length of that like so then on the back of that so that bends like that as you can see now it goes over I'm going to stick that on the front of the back part but first of all I need to just put a little bit of uh, double-sided tape on that and what I'm going to do is just put some tape on there and then I'm just going to trim around with a pair of scissors and just cut it to to fit perfectly so you can see that overhangs there 
But if I take my scissors and just turn that over, I can just trim around there perfectly so that when I peel the backing off, it will fit perfectly. If you don't put too much on, it's a, there's a chance it may separate, separate at the edges here and it'll lift off. Now I've got my card with the same section here and you can tell with that, that metal bit running down here. And if I take my backing paper off the double sided tape, which is always the hardest bit to do, isn't it? There you go, that's coming off. I will just position it, just crease it over like that first until I get it in the right position, then I can lay it down. So I'm going to position that there like that and just get this in the right position so it fits exactly over the top. Make sure that's right. Press that down and then just pull the backing off like that and stick the rest of the card down. And that is a simple, easy card to make. Look, now there's your card. And you can just open it like that, the whole thing. And just press it down. You just need to press down there just to make sure it creases properly. So there's the card. How simple and how easy to do is that? Now you can stick that down if you wanted to. You can open the whole thing up or you can just open the front. So you can put a sentiment in there and you can stand the card up like that if you want to. You can actually just put a little stand at the back of it so you get like, it's like a timepiece opening up. So you can put it down like that so the card stands up. There's lots of different ways of using it. See that? See this one here? There you go. Now if you come out a little bit, Barre, you can see the whole card. There you go. If I just move that out of the way, it'll look a bit more classy. So you've either got, you can now use the card like that and open it like that. And you can put a sentiment in there or what have you. Or you could have the card like that and have the card opening up like that. So you've got like a, a 3D one. Like so. Beautiful. So simple and easy for you to do.